During the British period in India, there was a backward community called Azavas in Kerala. Azavas were almost 25% of the total population in Kerala. Due to casteism, Azavas faced many problems by the upper caste people like Brahmins. Firstly, Azavas were not allowed to public schools like upper caste people like Brahmins. They were not allowed to politically represent like other communities. They were not allowed to do government jobs like others. Entry into the temples roads were restricted for them. They were not allowed to wear footwear and a lot of restrictions were put even on women's dresses. So, to solve these issues, a movement called Sri Narayana Dharma Paripalana Yogam was started by Padmanabhan Palpu in 1903. Padmanabhan Palpu was a great follower of Sri Narayana Guru. Sri Narayana Guru was a philosopher and social reformer from the same community. Philosophy in simple words mean a person's thinking or idea on some concepts. Reformer is someone who brings necessary changes or improvements to the system. Sri Narayana Guru believed that there is one caste, one religion and one God for all human beings. He believed that this can be achieved only by educating people. So, Padmanabhan started this movement with the guidance and support of his Guru. Now let us see some of the aims of Sri Narayana Dharma Paripalana Yogam. Firstly, to uplift and encourage the Ezava community to be treated equally like upper caste people. To protest against Brahmins who were not giving any respect and facilities to Ezavas. To discourage polygamy. Here, polygamy means commonly a husband in the presence of their partner marrying another at the same time. To stop the untouchability concept where there was a belief that touching a backward community people makes the upper caste people impure. Now let us see some of the contributions of Sri Narayana Dharma Paripalana Yogam. Firstly, Sri Narayana Guru wrote 45 books in Tamil, Sanskrit and Malayalam to educate people about unity and social equality. Among these, one of his best works was Atmopadesha Satakam. Secondly, to all who Izawas into the temple, Sri Narayana Guru and his team started the Vyokom movement in 1924. After this movement, Izawas were allowed to enter Shiva temple in Vyakum and later to all other temples in Kerala. Even great leaders like Gandhiji and Periyar supported this movement. Backward communities are slowly allowed to participate in elections and to take public jobs like upper caste people. Sri Narayana Guru's reformation resulted in many changes in Kerala where his messages spread to many parts of India. His name became history with his great work on social equality in Kerala. <laughs>